Hi, welcome to Software Design course. In this module, we we'll learn about open close principle. My name is Dhananjay Kumar, and you can find me online on debugmode.net and on Twitter at debug underscore mode. So let's get started. Open close principle says that a code should be designed in such a way that it should be open for extension. However, it should be closed for any modification. Let us try to understand this definition in a real-time scenario. Suppose you are writing a class with the responsibility to calculate discount. Let us say at the time of class designing you have three rules to offer the discount. And discounts are calculated on various rules. You may implement that in, in a class as shown below. You may write a code something like if rule 1 then give discount 1, else if rule 2 then give discount 2, else if rule 3 then give discount 3 and so on. Since while designing the class you have only three rules, you may hard code those three rules in if else if tree and calculate discount. Now, if a new rule is coming from the business, you'll go and add new else if in the above code. And by adding new else if, what you are doing, you are modifying the existing class. You are modifying existing code. And software design principle says that if you modify an existing class or existing code, you must test all its behavior once again. So once modified, you have to again test all the rules for the better design. And imagine that uh, rules for discount are keep coming from the business. The number of times you have to go and modify the existing class. While adding rule 10, you may not want to retest rule 1, rule 2, rule 3 again. So open close principle says that we should not implement this kind of scenario by modifying the class. So now let us go and see that if we don't follow open close principle then how we can how we do implement this type of scenario. Above scenario is implemented using discount calculator class. I have created a method discount inside discount calculator class. It takes two input parameter amount and rule. On basis of rule it is calculated some discounted value and it returns that as output. So this is the implementation of the business scenario we talked when we need to calculate a various discount value on various rules and as you see that if tomorrow we want to uh, bring new discount rule for example Independence Day we have to come here in this discount calculator class and in the discount method and add a new else if. By doing that, we will modify the existing class, which is not a good idea. Now let us see that how we can test this particular class and this particular method. I have written a test a return 15% for summer for the rule summer over here. Here we are returning 15%. And uh, in test in slice, uh, I have created an instance of discount calculator and then calling discount method by passing amount 100 and rule summer. And we're expecting that it should return 15. If we go ahead and run this, here in Test Explorer, we see that this test is passed successfully. Now, if we want to bring a new rule and we want to bring it in a test driven development way first we want to write a test and we can write that as test method then public void return 5% for id we are uh, bringing a new discount rule id rule so again this will go here var result and this will take id and expected is 5 
for sure this test will fail because we don't have any rule uh, here for ID and we'll go ahead and run this particular test it failed if you click on here it failed it says that our test failed because it is expecting 5 but actually 0 now to make this test green from red we need to go back and write our else if here and then write logic for that particular rule which we just brought in here by doing that what we'll do we'll modify the existing class and once we'll modify existing class again we have to rerun all the tests for uh, all the rules which are which is already written and tested and which is not effective and good design uh, principle now let us see that how we can implement the same scenario using open close principle and then how testing a new introduced rule will not affect other rules in the system to implement open close principle first let us uh, go ahead and create a uh, abstract uh, interface which will uh, define all these discount rule class I'll go ahead and say add a new interface new item code and interface and let us give this interface name as I discount calculate great and this interface will contain make it public and this will contain contain, uh, contain two of methods one bool rule to check that what rule is passed and that will take a parameter let us say rule name and then another would be double and calculate rule integer double amount great or maybe integer amount so this is uh, the interface for uh, all the rules in the system now if you want to implement I uh, summer discount rule I'll go here and add a new class and let us say we are calling that as summer discount calculator and this particular class will implement I discount calculate and here we can say that return summer dot equals and whatever rule name is passed which is rule name if it match summer it will return true else it will return false and then the other thing which we want to return as return amount multiply 0 0.15 in this way we have refactored that summer discount calculator the summer discount rule which is here to a separate class summer discount calculator now to implement winter discount again we need to create one more class uh, that is winter discount calculator and follow the same steps I have implemented a winter discount calculator class as well here it's in the rule uh, checking for winter and then calculating 20 percent now let's go to our discount calculator class which we created initially when we uh, try to implement that uh, without following open close principle very first now let us change this name discount calculator to something else because it doesn't it is now not a discount calculator class rather I can call it as a discount service class 
great apply and now we, uh, we had this public double discount what we are going to do is take this and come in this particular uh, method which we implemented before I'm just commenting that for reference if we need that uh, latter so that is com uh, commented now inside this we have public double discount again it is taking amount and rule we need to add all the rules and which can be added as public list of I discount calculate and I can say discount service so in discount service we'll have all those rules and we don't need this let me go and delete that and then when you create instance of discount service we need to add all those rules which are in the system to discount service and that can be created as we say discount service equal to new get instance of that new list discount calculate and then we can add discount service dot add new we created for summer discount calculator this is good then in the same way we can care for discount service dot add new winter we have created that great so here we see that uh, we added uh, two uh, rules to the system and discount we can work as we'll say where result as or maybe the discounted value which we have already declared there discounted value equal to in discount service list we'll find the pass rule and say hey if i dot rule and then pass the rule name which is uh, which is rule in this scenario again you find that if you got that then call the calculate uh, method on top of that and then pass amount in that great so it will first search for the rule in rule method and if it finds it then it will call calculate method and then it will return this discounted value great so this is the way you can implement that scenario using open close pins but now go back to our uh, test again and here we see that in test now we have return if 10 return of 15 percent and return 5 percent again this test will fail because we have not implemented that but let's go ahead and run all the tests here you see that first test passed, second test failed. Uh, now, if you want to implement it, to implement it, we don't need to go back to our discount service class, which is here, and do any modification over here. I'll do one modification uh, to add or to register that newly uh, class, which will implement that ID rule. But in a real-time scenario, you can use any DI container. To uh, resolve the dependency, so let us go to I discount calculator, and here for that I rule, we can say, "Hey, public class," and give name as let us say I rule discount calculator, and this guy will implement I discount calculate. So say that, "Hey, implement it," and here. Let's go ahead and change this to just I'll copy paste it from here and put it here and if I say that if it is I day then calculate it as 40 percent what I have done I have created a class which is representing a new rule which we are bringing into the system 
then go to discount service which is here and register that so discount service dot add new and name of that class is I rule discount calculated calculators so it is I I have to check for the name space I guess let's go here and then take this guy from here public class this and we will put it in the open close principle demo that fine public class I will discount calculator great so copy this guy from here go to discount calculator and say I will discount calculator we added that now if you go back to our test again which is here and we wrote that it will refer I dates to return 40 percent means it should be here 40 and then again run this test there's an error somewhere we need to put that great make sure that this is rebuild successful rebuild for test is successful great and then go here and say that hey run this test for me and in test explorer we can see that this test is now passed so we wrote a red test then we refactored we implemented uh, the scenario which is testing in this particular test and then this test is green again what message I'm trying to convey you that we implemented a new rule to the system without modifying the existing class we extended the class rather than modifying that so just we saw that we added a new rule new discount rule to the system without modifying other rules and affecting them if you follow open close principle you can bring any change to the system without affecting uh, or modifying the existing code and by adding or exist extending that existing code so let us say you have you are working with 50 discount rules already you have a uh, written code and logic for other 49 rules and tested them and when you want to introduce the other 50th discount rule you don't need to go back and test again all those 49 rules because you are not touching codes which are written for those rules and this is the main benefit of open close principle as we started in beginning that open close principle says that your code should be designed in such a way that it should be open for extension but it should be closed for modification and we just saw that in demo I hope you enjoyed this uh, module on open closed principle for software design uh, learning series I'm looking forward to see you again discussing other software design principle thank you so much for watching this video